Hey, I'm Sarah, and uh, today I'm doing an empties video because I realized that the last empties video I did was like half an hour, and that's ridiculous. And I'm seeing a lot of people doing them monthly, and that makes a lot more sense because then, like, I can tell you if it's something that I really loved, if I'm going to be repurchasing it anytime soon, blah blah blah. You know the shenanigan with these. Um, yeah. Also. Sideline, this amazing shirt that a friend of mine put together on the internet. It says, Lycanthropic Uterati, because uh, I'm a lady and secretly a werewolf. Once a month, I become a monster. Um, also, it's just a really neat font. I really love it. And uh, I'm having a hormonal breakout right now. My face is a complete mess, and I didn't want to put anything on it. There's nothing on my face, and I do a lot of videos like this. So if you're looking back through my channel and you're like, Girl almost never has something on her face. I do often have something on my face, but usually not when I film. I'm like the opposite of anybody else doing this kind of video online. Um, that's because I love makeup, and it's wonderful, and I really enjoy it. Uh, but it doesn't have to be part of your everyday life to me, as I see it. Uh, I love it. It's part of my getting ready to go out process. Um, a couple of things. Um, we do have thunder any minute, so if you hear a really big rumble in the background, that's probably what that is. And if that happens, my dog's over there and she's going to lose her shit. Oh, also Facebook pop noise. What was that? Oh, pff, I'm going to deal with you in a minute. Anyway, so let's get into it. I'm going to start off, first of all, with... Um, this is a bottle of organics repairing Awapui Ginger. This is a revitalizing conditioner, um, a moisturizing creamy conditioner with the Hawaiian beauty secret of Awapui Ginger. Um, anyway, I bought this particular bottle at Target when Target was going out of business. Uh, and as always, I love organics. I shop around the line a lot. Um, I love that there's so many things that very rarely do I, do I ever wind up getting the same stuff twice. Um, I never normally have a complaint, especially when I go, there's two price points in the line. Um, and I find that I tend to have the most success if I go with the cheaper conditioner, the cheaper, um, shampoos. Those are usually fine. They're not quite as creamy and rich. They tend to be more of a clear style, um, and then I tend to like to get this sort of the, basically the price point is usually at most places when I buy it, like $7.99 and then like $8.99. Um, I only actually wash my hair about once a week on average. Sometimes more, sometimes less. It depends on the weather. I just go with my hair. I, I don't dry shampoo typically because um, I don't find that I've, I haven't found one yet that makes it actually look like my hair is clean, like people say they do. Um, I find that I will usually wind up with it looking quite powdery and weird. Um, so yeah, but that's because I have that mid-tone brown where it's like it's not, it won't really get shiny, but it's not like dull like if it was blonde. Um, anyway, so this was quite nice, it smelled really good. Uh, as always with their packaging, I know that there's more in here. I can't get to the last bit of it without cutting it open. I like it. I don't like it that much. I'd probably wind up stabbing myself in the hand doing it. I'm almost certainly going to get more. <sighs> One of those days. I just, I wind up talking so much because I want to just get it all out there. Um, then I've got the Crest 3D White Luxe. Uh, this is the Glamorous White. Um, again, this is also a line that I shop around. Uh, this is one of the toothpastes that I tend to get. Um, there's also like a Hollywood White and blah blah blah. Um, I'm currently using the Brilliance line right now because I'm a big fan of Gigi Gorgeous and I'm a sheep. I'm a sheeple. Um, this isn't quite finished yet, but it's literally, I have one of those metal tube squeezers, so I abuse the hell out of this, and I now have to use that every time I use it. Uh, and this is the Hemp's Lip Balm. This can be kind of hard to find. I already have a backup. I don't, I don't use it, like, straight out of the tube. I always put it on my finger. I don't know why. I don't like 
this style of thing and that normally really puts me off. This is literally the next thing that I'm going to be finishing. I'm going to put it on my desk now so it can look at me. Um, I've probably had that for about two years. Um, but that's literally because I put it away for six months. And the thing is that I always keep this in my bathroom um, because I use it right after I have washed my face. And like this is part of my skincare regime. Because what I I really love about this is that it will leave my skin, it'll leave my um, my lips really moisturized overnight. I also sometimes use it as like a cuticle conditioner. I don't know why I started doing that one time. Probably because I squeezed too much out and you know I had to do something with it. Um, but it works really nice for that too, which is really random, I know. Um, but yeah, it's really good stuff. Uh, I definitely recommend it. It's about, I want to say 10 bucks. Um, again, I really, I really, really like it. Um, it's weird. It has this sort of like, I couldn't really explain to you what the taste is. It's really not offensive. Um, the only thing is it's not an effect that really lasts. Like if you're eating and drinking and stuff and it's got a lot of slip to it as well. So it can be kind of annoying. Um, as like a texture for a lip balm, it's not my favorite, but I love how nourishing it is. It's not one of those ones that if you have like a really cracked dry lip, like it's not like a balm sort of a thing. Um, but if you've just done um, like a really harsh lip exfoliation, which by the time I wind up doing it, if my lips are all cracked and crazy, then I'm usually pretty harsh with it. Um, then yeah, it's really great for something like that where it can be really intensively moisturizing, but it won't correct like a super dry cracked lip. And like that's, I totally get that where like you get the peeling and it's not pleasant. It's gross to talk about. Anyway, that stuff, it, it's good for certain things. Um, it's definitely somewhere between like your typical balm and a lip mask. It's really nice and I recommend it and yeah like I said I already have a backup of that so um, then I have this is the Kula face this is like SPF 30 I don't think there's anything left in here there might be no there's a tiny little bit which will probably actually come camping with me this weekend if I'm honest and then be done um, nothing really great to say about this um, got this in an ipsy bag last year uh, I keep all of my SPF in a cabinet that I really don't open that much so I feel really confident um, the issue that a lot of people have with keeping SPF products for more than a year is because they're keeping them in places that they're often opening the door of so the packaging is being exposed to light because this these products work by absorbing the light or reflecting the light or whatever blah 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 Anyway, over time they do degrade if they're exposed to UV. So I keep mine in a dark, dark cabinet <laughs> in my basement where the light does not get to it. Um, I use one bottle at a time that goes out with me. It doesn't sit out in the sun even when I'm at the beach. If I feel like it's not effectively protecting me, then I get rid of it. Um, simple as. So this stuff is about SPF 30. Um, it wasn't overly greasy, but it was still very shiny making. Um, and I was hoping that it would come down to a powder finish and it did not. Um, I found that if I skipped moisturizer and just went straight to this and then powdered over top of it, that was fine. It didn't encourage my makeup to break up any faster. Um, no complaints about it really, but for the price of it, I won't be purchasing it. It wasn't great enough for me to spend 30 bucks on it. Um, they do have a finishing spray out that's an SPF 30, and I'm seeing some recommendations for that online, so I'm definitely thinking about going with that. Um, but the SPF 30 is like nothing special. Um, I have this random sample thing that I got with my last Sephora order and it's the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black and Nirvana White. And what did I try already? I have already tried the Nirvana Black and this is, I'm gonna try the Nirvana White now. 
because um, there's a couple of things going on on their sales right now that are like, try these things. And so I've, I've never even smelled either of these before I tried this, which is why. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh wow. That's really weird. Not weird and pleasant. It's nice and it's like light and it's floral and it's really wonderful. I mean, I like them both, but I definitely prefer the Nirvana White. That is really nice. I would get you on purpose. I don't even know what your notes are. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. I always forget that this is um, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Which is so weird. Um, so, uh, the white, Nirvana white, uh, mixes musk, peony, nougat, for an aura of mystery. Um, and Nirvana black, uh, dark violet, vanilla, and sandalwood. Yeah, no, they're both, yeah. No, they're both really nice. I like this, I like the white because it calms down really fast, um, but they're both, they're both really, really beautiful. Um, I actually want to test and see how long this sort of lasts because I tried the Nirvana Black the other day and within four hours I was like sniffing because I, I often wear like a light scent when I'm home, just something that, like every once in a while I'll just be like, mm, that smells so nice. Um, and I found the Nirvana Black basically was gone within about four hours. And it was expensive enough that I was like, what? Anyway, um, so, ooh, I have a tea. I've got a green tea from World Tea House, Lotus Green, not a fan. But that's a green tea issue. Um, I have, ooh, the exact extra strength ibuprofen liquid gel caps, because these were cheap and they were awesome. And I, God knows I love Advil. Oh, so good. Um, this is the, um, Oh, frig, the hydrating gel treatment from Anthony. This was like, this one like warmed up and tingled. And I guess this is a line for dudes. And I tried to get like a full size of this and they don't seem to have it anymore. And that really annoys me. I got the sample a while ago, but if they have this again, I'm definitely getting it. It was nice. It was sort of like, um, You'd put it on and it kind of had that like menthol tingle on your whole face. It was so nice and it was light and it made my skin feel really good. And uh, one of the first gel moisturizers I've ever tried, I'm working on a sample of the H2O one now. And that's really nice too. But this, there's something about that, like that sort of tingling effect. It was supposed to like wake you up in the morning, but I actually really liked it just before bed. I found it really soothing. I don't know, I'm weird. It was lovely. Um, I've got a yerba mate and mint from Royalty House. This was delicious. I'll probably have that again. Um, this is an empty, but I have tried to use this a couple of times and it's, I don't even know that they sell this. And it, I found it in my drawer and it's, a couple years old, I got it in a Luxe box. And this was the Olay Total Effects 7 uh, CC Cream. I tried to wear this a couple of times. The coverage in it was meh, very, very light. Um, there's like ribbons of color mixed with the Olay 7 Effects. It seems to be suspended also in a there seems to be like a clear gel involved in there somehow too. Not really sure because it's, yeah, I've used a couple pumps of it and it's not really, I don't know how well you can see it's not really degraded. It's, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Yeah, no, there does seem to be like a gel or something in there. I don't know. Um, I don't have anybody in my life that I can give this to that I know is okay to use with these. Uh, and also, oh. This expired last year, so I'm not going to give it to anybody. Um, although, it, honestly, it's probably fine because it's been completely sealed like this. I don't know. Um, I 
have a problem with the Total Effects 7 line. Uh, when I use it, it burns my skin. So, yeah. Um, then I have a couple of lip products. This. Oh no! Um, this is one of those lip tint things from Benefit. Um, this specifically is the Posy Bomb. Um, this was just a sample. And I wasn't too sure about this, but I wound up like really getting in there and like like digging in with my brush. But eventually, I was like, oh, I can't be asked anymore. Actually, no, that's a lie. I totally was like, oh, I just want to keep doing this. But I was also thinking I have a million other products that I need to use. So, um, yeah, getting rid of it. Uh, I also had this headband that I got the other month, like literally, like last month in my birch box. And I literally, the first time that I put it on my head, it had a little charm. The charm just fell off. Um, I don't even remember what company this is. The first time I put it on as a headband, it loosened up too much to use as a headband. So then I was using it as a hair elastic. But it's an awkward size for a hair elastic, and I cannot be arsed. Um, so it's going. Um, I'm also getting rid of, and some people are going to be like, Oh my god, you're getting rid of, like, Benetton and stuff. Um... I have a couple of liquid tints here. You know what? I'm just going to get them all out of here right now. Let's just, let's just give her. Um, I feel like there's another one keeping around in here. I'm going to say I must have. Um, but yeah, I have the. I literally just had my hands on them. Where did that go? Okay. So I happen to know that I had. Not the Posy Bomb. I had one of the. Ah! Oh, it's all going terribly wrong now. Um, yeah. So. The, I know that I have another one of these tints, but it's going to go to it's any of these liquid lip and cheek stains with the brush like the Benetint has. Uh, they're just so liquidy. Um, and I find when I dab them on my cheeks and go to spread them out, they've stained dots. And I don't like them for my lips because they just cling to the dry patches. And I can't be asked. Um, same thing with this Cynthia Rowley one. Um, I do like lip stains, but I like when they're, they're the sort of the thicker consistency, so they're almost like a slick, and honestly, like, I like the consistency of this one, um, but it just applies weird and patchy and streaky, and like, if you apply a thin enough layer so that it's not like clinging to the edges and doing this weird sort of thing where like it'll get in the lines and it'll look bad. Um, they've got to keep layering it and it's fussy and it seems to feather before it stains and it doesn't even stain that well and it's just... The only thing that I can say for the Cynthia Rowley thing is that it it is moisturizing but all of those other things... It's so stupid. I find it almost doesn't stain my lips at all. I've got fairly pigmented lips. That's fine. Um, <laughs> but... But then it's made this weird, like, gross line around my mouth. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not going to purchase full size. It's not cool. Um, I finished as much as I'm willing to. I'm not willing to, like, scrape this out and everything. This is, um, and I mean, there's, I, could re I could really fuss with it, but I'm not going to. But this is a Laca and Co. Lip Lube. I don't know the shade name because the shade names aren't on here. They're not, I don't know. I think it was on the box, but I don't have the box anymore. Um, that's really nice. They're like, this is the full size. This lasted me for ages. Um, I think they're 22. Um, you can get like a set of them for not that much either on the Birch Box store. Uh, or you could a while ago. It's really nice. I like that they're just a little bit minty. They're quite moisturizing. This color especially I was just a beautiful sort of Nick and Nudie shade. Um, very, very neutral. 
Uh, I can actually. Oh no. I Yeah, I see him scraping the sides there, and that annoys me. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. Um, it was nice. It was easily as much as a standard lipstick in here, from what I could tell. Um, it's a really nice product. Feels really good on the lips. A little bit minty. Really awesome. Definitely worth it. And I will probably look at repurchasing that when I've sort of felled some of the rest of my collection. Um, then I have this mini uh, Bad Gal Lash that's... Eh, it's really getting to the point like there's some left but it's to the point now where it's starting to get all dry and gross on the brush so meh. Um, I actually already have a full size of this so I'm not even worried about this and I have like so many mascaras like we all do um, so but this is really quite nice and I love this it's very volumizing and you just put out very big lashes love it really enjoy that um, and because I can't find any of the other stuff that I thought I had. That is weird. Oh, wait. Here we go. Lolly Tint. Lolly Tint is going to. Um, again, it's brush consistency. Like, this is a little bit thicker than the Benetint. But it's still, it's not, you know. This is more of a cream than a liquid. But it's not. You know what? I just I can't. It's not. It's not for me. It's not the kind of product. I feel like I would have to maybe use this with a beauty blender and like work with it, and it would be fussy. And it kind of to me defeats the purpose of having these kind of tints, which are supposed to be like so easy and so natural and so no maintenance. <laughs> this is gonna bug me forever. I know I have another thing. I know that there's another one in here. Is there? Is there not? I must have gotten rid of it. Okay. Um, you know what? While I'm weeding things out, that aren't necessarily empty, I think this is going to have to go to, um, this is the Be a Bombshell in. What are you? You're Be the Bombshell, the one stick, and this is in Sunset. Um, it's. I don't like it as a consistency for a lip product, although you can use it as a lip product. It's just, it's not a great color for me, I don't feel. I have been using it at the gym sometimes as like um, a cream cheek product but it doesn't blend that great either um, I, honestly if the color was more like my kind of thing then I think so but it's like it's you know and then you just you try and you blend and it, it blends okay like on my hand but it's not not amazing. It's not a really great color for like I don't find it to be a really great color for me. Well, then maybe. Eh, I don't know. Oh, I might keep it. You know what? Screw it. Never mind. I'm not even gonna edit that out. I think we all do that. Um, and finally, uh, the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. This I used right down to the last drop. I got this in the skincare sale, yeah, earlier this year or last year. Um, I would use this every time I'd be home. And you know what the thing is? This took me ages. Even this little one took me ages to get through. So, ooh, that actually reminds me. I was going to get the... Yeah, it's completely empty. This stuff is amazing. So you just... Do a couple of pumps and I always start at my eyes and I raccoon myself completely and then you just you just add little bits of water and you just work it into your face and it's such a great great like makeup remover and like I don't feel like I need an extra cleansing step after this you know this is so good and my skin feels really nice it doesn't feel like tight or gross or anything when I'm done with this it is fantastic anyway Let's just put all 
these ah, in there for recycling. Um, so yeah, that is everything that I have currently. And um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and putting up with another one of these. I really don't know where that one's doing. Um, as always, yes, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned, you, I don't know, want extra feedback or something. I don't know, maybe you do. <laughs> Just let me know in the down bar. And I promise I'm not always so hyped up on caffeine. What did I have before? Oh, I had like huge glass of Coke before this. That's weird. I'm like four coffees before that. I wasn't even remotely jazzed. I don't know. It's been a day. It's been a day. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye. Oh, there's a stop button.